Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are in SnowRunner and uh, we are taking care of the floating change house. And as you can see, it's floating down the river. Um, that gives me an idea. And I'm, and I'm not gonna lie. What's gonna happen? You know what? I guess it's not gonna get that far. I was, I was thinking maybe it will just float all the way down the river if we give it enough time. And it's actually back on the move, so we could, we could do this without the need of a truck until it gets to the very end. Because uh, we do have to take it all the way down. I guess this is where we would have to drag it across the, the thing and then start floating it down, but it's got to go to the ice camp. So we are going to basically just follow the river and we are going to try and keep this episode pretty simple. Uh, there is no need to pick this up and put it on the back of a, a truck because it is a, uh, oh my stuck. Oh no, because I wasn't paying attention. And that is a giant rock. <clears throat> Alright, let's try to go around it. There we go. Alright, so. Let's uh, follow down the river. I believe it's nice and shallow the whole way. And this thing's on sled, so bringing it up on land is no problem whatsoever. In fact, lion might be the answer. Uh, we are actually moving quite quickly, so this is a this is a nice surprise, especially uh, compared to last episode, where we were stuck in the mud, and yeah, it was uh, it was quite the the adventure. But the funny thing is, is when I got done uh, repairing the power lines. I didn't want to stop playing the game, so yeah, that was. It, it, let's just say it's been a while. Usually, I'm, I'm when I'm done about an hour or so in the game, I am uh, I'm ready to, to to hang my hat up for the day. But yeah, for some reason, I wanted I wanted more. Um, not really sure why we're hung up. I think it's. That is the truck. I thought it, maybe it was the sled. But no, it's definitely the truck. And... There's only the one winch point. Oh good, there's one right there. So let's not tip ourselves over. Let's get us off this rock that I, again, magically missed. Somehow get that, pick that out of the way. Come on. Just need the back tire to touch it. Getting closer. Getting closer. So close, to just come on, just touch it. See if I can just completely move it out of the way. There we go. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Oh. Thought for certain that would do it. 
Come on, it's moving, it's moving. Uh, the only problem is, is now we're stuck in the mud. Come on. How did I get myself so stuck? Uh, let's see if I can back out of this. Now that the truck's not stuck under that rock. All right. Let's go ahead and just back completely out. Okay, truck, um, you don't want to do anything I want to do. You just want to uh, do your own thing. Okay. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even get some speed up. Like, this is brutal. For some reason, it won't. There we go. All right, let's see if we can go forward. <clears throat> I, I think the Azov has, uh, Kind of met its match. This this terrain here is uh, a lot tougher than the Azov can handle. Like even trying to winch it backwards, I can't get out. Yeah, I'm stuck against a rock in a hard place. That's not really helping at all. Nope. I was just going to tip that over, which, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we're, we're not moving at all. Eh, we are moving a little bit. Hmm. Do we have a truck that we can send in for rescue? Our dairy's there. Where is the Zeke's? The Zeke's way over here, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Well. I think Derry might be it. But I think the Derry's gonna have to go road route. Oops. Alright, let's try it. Uh, let's also go back to the Azov and uh, shut it down to make sure that it uh, doesn't run out of gas. Hmm. 
In the dairy, we're gonna go... We're gonna go up and around. I'm gonna attempt to bring the fuel with me. Probably not smart, but... I'm gonna try. And it usually helps if you put it in all-wheel drive. One thing I keep forgetting about this truck is you manually have to put it in all-wheel drive. We're going to attempt to try to yank this cargo through. First, it won't give me a tree I want. There we go. And we're instantly stuck. There we go. Alright, so we gotta think about this because this tree here made it very tight get through. Um, we could go that route. There's a road over there somewhere. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't find it. And maybe we'll find a better path through here. That one looked okay, but it doesn't look very good now. <laughs> Alright, there's our road. Which literally just looks like a snowpack. Definitely doesn't look like it's a place where you could uh, haul a fuel trailer through. Uh, where are we as far as, yeah. You know what, we could probably just keep going down this road. There's plenty of trees. Plenty wide enough. I think we'll be okay. <clears throat> And here, here in the back of my mind, I thought the floating challenge, or the flo floating uh, change house was going to be cakewalk. Oh, looks like I was wrong. Right, weeble and wobble through this path. Good news is, is I don't care about the fuel consumption because we've got Tons of it. Literally. Roughly about five tons? How much would 800, 900 gallons of fuel weigh? My guess is around seven, eight, or seven, eight dollars. Seven or eight pounds per gallon. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got quite a bit of weight behind us. Get up on that snow. There we go. Okay. Uh, while we're at it, because I think, yeah, we're gonna have to hang a left here anyways. Let's uh, let's fill up the uh, yard there. Uh, refuel. Fill up the dairy while we're here. Why not? The yard will fill up. The roof rack will fill up. And that is it. Okay, so now that vehicle is actually usable now.
So at least when we need it, we'll have it. Ooh, all right. Come on, let's get more off the shoulder. Actually, if I remember correctly, it's quicker to drive through this than it is to drive through all that mud. Can we get in the third gear? Can we? Can we get in the third gear, please? Please get in the third gear. There we go. All right, there's our newly opened garage. Yay. And we just died. All right, let's just leave it in low plus. We'll cruise to victory. Uh, so we got to turn here. And I guess, yeah, I guess that's about where I'll drop off this fuel tanker. I may want to, uh, oh, I may want to drag it down farther towards the uh, south end of the map, but we'll leave it there for now. I knew it was going to turn off once we got into the slot. The little hidden trail back there going nowhere. Yeah, and I, I feel like this is a good spot to, to leave the tanker. We'll uh, park it off the road to right about here. It didn't fall over, so that's good. Go ahead and refuel again. And we still have 771 gallons left. There's a, there's a little rock there. No biggie. Come on. You can get through this. This shouldn't be a challenge for you, Barry. You know what you're doing. Whew. All right. Uh... Slowly but steady, we'll, we'll, we'll get through this. Um, there we go. Probably go ahead and go back into auto. Now, the best route for the ice, I believe, is to take a right here. Take a route, or just take a route. You take a right, and then you take a left, and you'll get right to the ice. 
Uh, but I gotta pay attention to what side of the ice I need to be on because, like most most ice in this game, it has a breakable center. Which is funny because that's usually the opposite of the way ice is, unless it's melting. Yeah, but even then, it's still it's still more solid in the middle of the lake than it is on the edges, usually. Um, but I guess that all depends on conditions too. Anyways, uh, we need to be on the far side of the break, so we'll stay to the left. So at least we can knock off some, uh, some mud and uh, definitely pick up some speed. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Didn't really want to go in that far. Okay, can we get out? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, man, really? Oh, should have stayed closer to the edge. We are sunk. Alright, you know what we can do, though? Oh, no. I mean, I haven't actually gone to the garage to unlock it. Okay, fear not. Fear not, we're okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, there, there are ways around this. Which include the yar. So, slight detour. <clears throat> Uh, where is the garage? The garage is behind us, so we gotta turn around. Uh, so we'll slap on all-wheel drive, because we are in the mud. Yeah, that tree should just move out of the way, it's fine. All right, perfect. All right, let's hurry up and winch through here. There we go. All right, let's go unlock the garage. And then we can uh, at least bring the dairy back to there. And I'm tempted to put mud tires on. Yeah, I'm 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 tempted to do the mud tires. And I think that's what I'll do. We'll see uh we'll see if they seem to travel better. Yay, we've discovered the garage. Um let's detach the trailer first, obviously. Um, yeah, we can just go ahead and recover this. Uh, so now we can go to the global map. We can go to back back to Lake COVID. Go into the garage there. We can actually now retain most of these vehicles. Especially the ones I want to use. Um, you might be usable. Ooh, which one do I want to use? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Uh, let's go to customize. Go into the tires. We are gonna get uh, the mud tires. Which ones do I want? I think this is. These are the ones the internet says are the best ones. These are supposed to be better than those. And it just, I don't know, kind of baffles my mind because it doesn't say. It goes from good 
from good to excellent. So you think excellent and excellent would be better than or good and excellent, but that's that's what the internet's saying, so let's let's go with it. I could be wrong. I might be reading the wrong site. Maybe it was an old Reddit page. Who knows? But uh, yeah, we'll go with these tires. And uh, yeah, we'll see how much of a... How long it takes us to get back over there. Because we pretty much just did this. Uh, yes, we were hauling, hauling a fuel tanker, but... Uh, you know what? I'm, in the, I'm on the wrong map still. Let's uh, recover real quick and retain that, then jump over to Amandra and go into the garage, deploy this truck, and then leave. That's the right thing to do. Leave the garage. There we go. Now we're in the right spot. We have all this fuel for some reason that we don't need because we're right by the garage. <laughs> we're actually not that far from the trailer store, so that's another bonus as well. So that will be a that will be a cleanup day. All right, let's see. Let's see how well these tires do. Considering I'm in two-wheel drive, or six-wheel drive, or four-wheel drive, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like it's six-wheel drive. We're doing pretty good. Uh, so let's throw on all-wheel drive. That should, uh, that should help out just, just a bit. Well, I do have to say, it feels like we're moving a lot faster. I wonder if I take off the differential at full. Yeah, it seems to struggle now. Put that differential on, you're good. Now that we're now that we're out of that muck, we can go ahead and just leave the all-wheel drive on. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if we get to third gear at the top of this hill. Okay, there's third gear, gear at the midpoint of that hill. Did we get to fourth? No, fourth would have been too good. That's alright. Alright, well, since we have a little bit of downtime of, uh, well, really, it's just travel time. Uh, why don't I go ahead and get this out of the way, but if you're liking the stream, so, or the, uh, stream, please, the video so far, uh, please go ahead and hit the like button, because that helps out the channel a lot. And the nice thing about that is it's, it's technically free, so it doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, and you're watching this channel for the first time. Uh, I do do a lot of snow runner. I'm also breaking away or breaking out into doing some oxygen not included as well. So feel free to check those out. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on anything. And uh, yeah, I uh, usually try to do about three episodes a week. Uh, last week was a a little upset, uh, obsession, jeez. Objection. No, I can't even think of the word right now. I love, I love the way my mind works. Um, upset. Anyways, 
I didn't do it last week because I had a cold and uh, I still technically have it now, so um, yeah. <laughs> if I sound like a blundering idiot, it's because I am. It, it, it truly is, so. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, I try to do it three times a week, usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I'll also record during the week um, my oxygen not included, but then I'll air those on the weekend uh, just for fun because I pretty much can, I can uh, post them and just have them scheduled and I don't even have to think about it over the weekend. So yeah. All right. Anyways, so uh, that did seem quite a bit faster uh, with these mud tires. So I'd, I'd be tempted to see if the other mud tires are, are better, but uh, this time we're going to stick really close to shore. Yep, like really close to shore. And if we would have done this, oh, we don't have, oh my god, I, I'm shocked I did not just roll this thing. I totally forgot that I didn't have chain tires on, so, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I almost just totally ate it there. Um, I also didn't realize that there is no way to cross this river again. Uh, we might have to go up and around. Because we can't go over any of that. I mean, we could attempt this. You know what? I think we can do it. I think we can just go pop right up over these rocks. We'll put the diff on. Yeah, look at us. Look at us go. We didn't need to go around the. Uh, we didn't need to go around. Although, are we going to be able to fit under here? Uh, yes and no. Um, there is a collision. There usually is a, coll a collision, which is very annoying. Um, let's go ahead and put it back in auto. Let's try to go super wide. Uh, because we could go... Yeah, we could go back the other way. But I think we'll be okay going this way. We'll cut through all this, this snow. And maybe it was smarter to uh, go the other way, but oh, thank you, power lines. I think we can squeeze down here. As long as we're going down. Up might be a, a big, a big issue, so. Actually, tell you the truth. I don't know how we're going to get out of... I don't know how we're going to get out of this area because I think this drops down. Let's go check it out real quick. Wow. Uh, when I mean real quick, um, probably nice and slow. I think we might have to drag it across the lake. Ooh. Or we try to yank it up through there. Um, we have two trucks. We could probably yank it up. I don't think I'm going to be able to climb this. Even with chains. And a differential. Um, maybe. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we can't, um... Okay, you know what? Let's... Let's think about this for a second. I think I can just go this way. We've got a snorkel on this thing, so we can get pretty deep. Oops, let's stay as far back as we can. Yeah, we can just pop up right here. Wow, I could have just taken this route instead of going all the way around. So, yeah, we, we can do something like that. We can, uh... We can hopefully just winch that uh, sled 
through here, so. Um, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Let's go ahead and lock everything up, and then there we go. Guess I'm fighting the water a little bit there, but no biggie. I'm kind of shocked I don't have to move all these things out of the way, right? Like, is that me? Is it just me? Ah, uh, you know what? We'll be fine. Maybe not. Jeez. There we go. That differential really kicks in on this truck. Uh, let's just move this out of the way. We technically don't have to do anything with these guys. I don't think we do. We might have to come get them. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we if we do have to come get them. Speaking of the task, uh, for some reason it changed again, so we're just going to accept it. And uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Ooh, how are we gonna do this? Yeah, let's let's just get closer. We can just yank this back. That won't be a problem at all. In fact, I might just take the dairy. Or yeah, I might just take the dairy and finish the job. That only seems fitting. And, uh, we can technically leave the Azov where it is. We could pull it out if we wanted to. Uh, but with our garage now unlocked... I'm, uh, I'm thinking... Yeah, we just go for it. Let's just get this done. Um, I do feel bad though, leaving the- you know what? My gut's telling me to get the Azov unstuck. Because if if this gets stuck, uh, we're pretty much recovering the Azov and then having to drive it back here anyway. So let's take a little bit of time. Let's think ahead. Uh, all possible uh, possibilities need to be examined. And yeah. And the worst part is I bet you will pop this right off the rock and it won't even be a struggle. Nope, oh, this thing is stuck. Let's turn the truck on and see if that helps. Wow! Did I really expect to get this truck unstuck by driving it? Do they, do they have that feature in the game where if you're sitting in mud too long and you become suctioned down? That that becomes a thing? Like, even this truck is starting to dig itself into a hole. There we go. It finally broke free. Let's now try to get our truck unstuck. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. I didn't think this is a possibility. Uh, that me trying to rescue the Azov, both these trucks would get stuck. I, I didn't think it was the case because I'm like, I'm on solid bedrock. I'm not in, I'm in a river. It's pretty it's pretty rocky through here. Nope. Well, if I pick this over, is it gonna help? Like I should not be this stuck. Rock it out. There we go. We're picking up some speed now. Okay, 
Okay, we'll, we'll use the winch to get the Azoth a little bit moved. There we go. It's, uh, it's getting quite dark now. Oh yeah, that's right. The dairy doesn't really like high gear, does it? Hello, it's doing okay. Come on. Get me get me on top of the rocks. Like I'm I'm just digging through mud right now. Oh, jeez. Um, we're going to burn through all our gas doing this, aren't we? That's the one I need. <laughs> I got to I got to keep them straight. Slowly but surely, the Azov is coming. Was that? That truck should be on. It won't bring me the one I want. In fact, that one's kind of floating down the river now. I got a feeling I should probably work towards the shoulder. It's like I'm stuck at a level for some reason. I also feel like the Azoth is still following me. This is kind of trippy right now. I know I'm moving, but those are not getting farther away. I don't see any trees to attach to yet. If I can get up on land here and then get back in the water, I should be good. I feel like I'm being pushed downstream too by the water. Okay, so that should have helped. Yeah, the Azov is definitely following me. Attach anything yet? Nothing. This is kind of ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. The Azov is floating down the river. My sled is floating down the river. Meanwhile, I'm stuck in the mud. What happens if I change this truck? I feel like there's some weird glitch going on. Okay, so the Azov is coming out of the water. Is that all I got for headlights? Yeah, I guess it is.
Oh, I'm in neutral. I was like, what? Why am I not moving? Alright, so change trucks. Now that we're up and out of the mud, maybe, just maybe we can reel this in and actually get some, uh, get this done. Okay, so business states that I can come up here. Should be able to pop right out of the water. Put the differential on as well. Although now we're sinking again. I put the differential on and we sink. What is going on? This is weird. Let's change trucks and try to just go straight up and out. And that, that container is slowly floating down the river. Alright. The Azov is now out of the water. Can I go underneath there? Nope. Ah, uh, the collisions in this game are, uh, not very good. Like, I'm not hitting a thing, but yet, uh, yeah. Anyways. Alright, uh, Derry, you're gonna sit there, I guess. And I'm gonna hope <laughs> that I can still get this container out of here. Seriously. Come on, get up. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that... This floating change house was supposed to be a nice, easy task. Oh, shoot. It's night and I can't see the ice. That's right, we gotta go this way. Over the rocks. I probably could have dragged this across the broken ice, but didn't want to push it. Alright. There we are. There, it's complete. The garage is now open to everyone. I like how that's what it says. The garage was open before this. Huh. That's that's funny. Alright, let's let's recoup. Um now that we're now that we're fully functioning. We've got a garage, so uh, I think what we're what we're going to do is we're going to recover this. We are going to jump in the Zeke. I do I want to recover this? You know what? We got we've got about ten minutes or so. I'm going to take this up the hill. We're gonna we're gonna follow it along that path, and we're just gonna drive. We're we're gonna. Take it pretty easy. And we're going to uh, try to open up the map a little bit more. And left turn. Run over tree, run over tree, run over tree. Oh, smash into a big tree. I feel like I hit something weird here dump or something. Um, 
and we've got this awkward, awkward little area. I don't, I don't see any vehicles or anything. Speaking of vehicles, did we drive past? No, I don't think we came back this route, did we? No. I thought about it. But no, we didn't, did we? Okay, that portable cabin's gonna be on the map, but it's... <laughs> Does anyone know if I can drag that? Because it's showing as an icon. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm lost. Uh, seriously though, where is it? There it is. It's showing as an icon, as if it's a trailer. Can I return this? And I think that's, yeah, that's the, uh, Fuel Scout trailer that isn't showing up either, so. I wonder. I wonder if those are all future mission things. Or they're glitch, who knows. Anyways. Yeah, let me know if I can just return those at the trailer store to get money for them. That might be, uh, that might be a possibility. Alright, so, hooks left here. We are basically in the middle of nowhere in this thing. And we're still, uh, technically a logging truck. There's a nice screenshot. That's, that's been happening a lot around me lately, actually. You can't really see it with the naked eye, but if you use your cell phone, especially if you have an Apple, uh, it, will, it will definitely show up. Um, and unlike Samsung, it's not just a filter. Yeah, remember when Samsung had that moon filter and they said it wasn't a filter? But it turned out it was a filter because the guy what did he do? He took, I think he took a, a picture of a moon, he took the pit, a picture of the moon, put it on his computer, brought it into Photoshop, made it super blurry, and then took his Samsung cell phone and used that to look at the picture of the moon on his computer, and Samsung magically turned it into a perfect resolution image of the moon so uh, if that's not a filter I don't know what else is so anyway wasn't wasn't one of the biggest uh, breakthroughs of debunking lies of companies but it uh, was kind of funny to say because like honestly at the end of the day just say it's a filter and then move on because we, we all know you're your camera's not that good. Not the quality of the pictures of moon people were taking. Anyways. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm uh, I'm just going to go for this keepsake. I'm going to go here. We're going to see how far we get there. Um, I got a feeling all this here is going to be traversing by river. Or by the, by by the water's edge. So um, when we try to get through there again, look at how steep this is. That's fun. I like these steep ones. Um, although that's a tight fit. And oh 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 wow, that was close. That was that was stupid close. And now I think I'm stupid stuck. That was cr that was crazy. That's the second time I, I did that last episode, didn't I? Oh, oh. Oh, now I'm thinking about it. This whole trail through here is pretty uh, unsuitable for this truck. It, it's a little on the small side.
But let's go get that task before we head down there or anywhere else really for that matter. Um, hopefully we're not missing any upgrades. I'm actually not even sure how many upgrades are left in this on this map. And to tell you the truth, we might want to use this truck to get uh, the upgrade for the all-wheel drive of the twin steer because that is uh, kind of on this side of the map where we're at. Let's accept that one. We can actually start tracking that one. And it wants me to visit there anyways. But yeah, we're pretty close. Um, in fact... Ooh. Oh wow, look at that rock cliff. I hope I don't have to do that in anything. I thought the one in... Uh, was it Lake Coven? I want to say it was in Lake Coven. That one was pretty tough. Uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the river. Um, we've still got more time, so let's go ahead and keep going. But yeah, we're going to take the river. We're going to go up and around. Maybe. Maybe if we go over time a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll get the twin steer today. might be one of the first times uh, in a while that I've played through the night into the morning. Um, it is four, almost five in the morning, so sun will be coming up shortly. Uh, let's try a little bit closer to the ice. Probably smoother, so therefore it will be faster. So this, well, let's just go forward and see what happens. Yep, I figured it dug in a little bit, but you know what? It's not horrible. I mean, it is, but at the same time, oh, oops. Yeah, I totally could have turned up there. I would have went up there, probably. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't roughly right where I said we'll go to the ice uh, that we could have squeezed up. We could have just squeezed up to the road and not have gone out of our way, but you know what? It's okay. We're fine. We'll, we'll get through this. We'll suffer together. Uh, let's squeeze up here, smash into the rocks a little bit. No biggie. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll take the road back around. It's, it's not too bad. I mean, we do have to do this again. Uh, hopefully, we'll be okay. Come on, dig through it. Push. There we go. Get that boulder out of the way. All right. Bash through the rocks. It's easier if you just stay to this side of the telephone poles and go through the snow. I found that out the hard way a long time ago. 
then if you want, you hang it right here, and you just follow this onto the tarmac. And at least in this thing, it's tape on. We can uh, go get some fuel because we're going to need it. Yeah, it's pretty grippy here, so that's good. All right, let's refuel. And we can actually, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's just go get it. I know we're a little over our hour, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's make sure we're going in the right direction. Yes, yeah, so we have to go over here somewhere. But yeah, we're just gonna take this trail. And wander right back over there. We'll just knock over the fence, it's fine. I don't know what they were thinking putting in such skinny fences. So, I mean, that looks like it's all drivable ice. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Uh, it's a fitting end to the episode if, if we get stuck and fall through or if we uh, just cruise right on over there. Everything to the left of me is breakable ice, for sure. That looks pretty safe there. Um... I'm gonna try to stop. Like slide to the stop. We're gonna back up. Yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go up this way. Okay, now I technically have no clue where it is. I was just told it's south of, south of the area by where you enter onto the map for the first time. Uh, south of what looks like a road that's kind of shaped like a racetrack. So that's what I'm going for. I don't know how I just crossed that bridge like that, but I did. And yeah. Well, there's some things over here, so that's good. Um, I'm assuming this is what looks kind of like a racetrack. So yeah, let's just go for it. There's def definitely something over here to the left. I'm guessing it's a pickup spot, maybe? Kind of looks like a garage. If this is a garage, Or maybe it's a repair point? I don't, yeah, we'll see. Maybe it's just a task. It is the old lighthouse. It is a task. So look at that. I'm glad we accepted it. Um, I don't know where it is because I didn't, uh, yeah. I didn't have it show where you go, so. That's okay. Well, uh, apparently I discovered it. Uh, before, after I accepted it. Well, that's good. Uh, let's see here. Oh. I ran into the dirt a little bit. Alright, so that should be the marker for the smack dab. Um, so my guess is somewhere over here. Yeah, so there's the... There's the racetrack. I got a feeling it's somewhere on this pole. In here somewhere. And I'm not gonna lie, this does not look like a very wide trail. But let's do it anyways.
Well, let's not say we did. All right, there we go. Come on. Keep picking the uh, the trees that aren't gonna help me. Oh, I was just about to go over it. Every time I let off, I'm about to go over it. Come on. Oh, that tree's not gonna do it any good. Shockingly, that one did a pretty good job. I hope I'm not just doing this for fun. Oh, I just saw it. Where was it? There it is. Alright, that's gotta be it. Um, question is, is can we get there? You know what the worst part is? This looks like it would have been easier. But at the same time, not. Come on, what are you doing? What are you hung up on? Okay. Let's try to do this. Oh, are you kidding me? How am I not in range for that tree? Let's try to go back and see. Yeah, it's... It's doing that glitch thing that it did last time where it goes through the one tire. What? Hatch went. There we go. Alright, I think we can just go straight ahead through these trees. And... Ta-da! Engageable all-wheel drive, not for this truck. Which means it's for the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. AKA the Twin Steer. Boom. Oh, that's that's going to be fun. You know what? I don't care that we're over. We're uh, we're doing it. Uh, let's let's just recover. I don't do I need this over here? I've opened that up. No, you know what? We can get back over here. No problem. Let's recover this thing. We got to go. We got to buy a truck, don't we? We got to buy a truck. We got to go back to America to buy that truck, don't we? Yes, we do. I'm not even going to... What truck was that? Ah, oh, the boar. Well, doesn't that look spiffy? Uh, let me go know what you guys think of the boar. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it okay? 58 inch tires, that's that's all she wrote. That's kind of lame. Uh, suspension. I can have a raised suspension. Uh, looks like it's probably one of those trucks that might be good in the future, but uh, not right now. Anyways, uh, let's actually go back. We gotta go to Michigan. Uh, it's so weird looking at Michigan now. It's so green. And brown and covered with asphalt. Oh, uh, remember how glorious asphalt is? That's not covered in ice. Uh, truck store. 
Where is it? We twin steer. Good old twin steer. Where are you, twin steer? There she is. Boom. Uh, let's let's have some fun with this. Actually, let's uh slap in the big engine. Let's do. I'm gonna do the off road. Raise suspension. 63 inch. Wait, were those flotation tires? They're not, but they're pretty big tires. They're tires. Um. I mean, those look like ATV tires. Okay, no. I gotta go to the 63s for sure. Yeah, look at those things. I kind of like a good solid tire like that. It's so strange. I might have to look up what tire works the best, but for looks... I mean, that looks pretty good. You know what? Let's just go left with that. I'm gonna have to do some looking. Oh, look. I meant that one. I saw that one. Engageable diff lock. Yes, please. Spare tire. Yes, please. Snorkel. Yes, please. Uh, and uh, engageable all-wheel drive. What is going on? Uh, everything else. I think it's just cosmetic. Let's uh, throw those lights on just for fun. Yeah, we gotta do the big old reinforced bar. I don't think it's gonna hurt too much. We'll do the Western Star Horns, the exhaust, oh, the heated twin pipes, or the stuff, oh, muzzles. Like, I, I normally, younger me, would have said, that looks better. There's just something about that that just says, beefy. And then you have Outrolled, which, I mean, they're just slightly smaller than the other ones. And then you get the little tiny ones that are stock. Uh, we're going muzzled. I, don't, I, you know, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, thinking these guys, they look like bead lockers, so let's go with those. Color, I'm gonna keep the color the same. Not really worried about that stuff there. Let's leave the garage. Look at this thing. Stupidity at its best, but like not stupid. Stupid, but not stupid. And the reason why I say it's stupid is because of this right here. We're gonna, we're gonna just, we're gonna ruin this truck right now. And yes, this is a route that I usually would take in Michigan. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's weird being in Michigan. Uh, but I would take this with scout vehicles all the time. Uh, whoops, whoops, what, yep. Yep, it's uh, it's been a while. It's not to the left, to the right. You squeeze in right here, and you just drive straight up the hill. And I don't even have all-wheel drive on right now. Okay. Well, you know what? That's uh. That did pretty well, shockingly. This was the mud pit though that was uh, that would stop most vehicles. But yeah, we're in two wheel drive mode. Uh, 
And this is about how fast I could get through it with any other vehicle back in the day. The, the fact that I'm just in my, my four-wheel drive, I guess? I don't, I don't know how you guys want to say that. Um, yeah, this is, this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, it could be the tires alone. Who knows? Uh, but let's go ahead and we're gonna swing this thing around. Now, that's, this is the bad thing about it. it. Took a little bit more damage than I thought it would off of a sign that falls over. The turning radius on this thing is a nightmare. Let's throw all-wheel drive on. Like, look at this turning radius. Uh, well, it's definitely not made for the turning radius, for sure. Let's just launch it off. Some rocks. Oh man. What? Okay, she might be tippy. Uh, let's recover. Let's leave the garage. Let's try that again. I am going stupid over time, but I don't care. We're having fun. Alright. Let's uh get this facing the right direction. Bang into that pretty hard. It's so weird to, to have rain. Um, but we can slide right up this hill. Okay, so far so good. Oh, gotta go around that pole. Not trying to get on the pole. Oh, look at this. This is a thing of beauty. Although, I'm not gonna lie. Throwing the diff lock on would probably help out a lot. Because those tires were moving at two different rates. The only thing I'm worried about is the the grade change. Whoops. And rocks. Rocks, rocks is a thing. Uh, but the grade change, like, it feels like bottoming out it's gonna hurt you a lot more. But surprisingly, it doesn't... It doesn't bottom out like other trucks do. This thing is just cooking through all this. All right, well, well, we'll put it to the test. Um, I'm not 100% sure if uh, Amandra is the correct uh, the correct map to do so, but yeah, I think we might have to try it. All right, we're going to go through this pond here in the middle. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but this is just going above and beyond. Um, Things that we should do with this truck so I don't even know how deep this pond is oh, it's pretty deep it's a nice place to take a bath I guess all right look at that we just we come right out of it too like, that's pretty steep terrain right there we didn't even bottom out. I don't even think this is a path through here. I'm just driving. What's going on here? That would explain why.
Can we get through here? Yeah, let's go through here. Let's just go straight and see what happens. Um, I think we're going to end up drowning ourselves. But yeah, I don't know. Let's find out. See, the water's coming up. Oh, is it going to come up over the hood? Uh oh. There we go. I don't know why I'm glitching so much right now. Well, the water's not that deep. The uh, current's definitely sweeping me away. Uh oh. Now we're getting deeper. Cockpit camera not available underwater. You know, that's a shame. I think we're going to get pushed over by the... Yep. Yep. We did. Alright. Well... Unfortunately, this truck doesn't float very well. And the currents are real. So... Yeah. The currents are definitely real. <laughs> All right, I think that's a, a good time to end the episode. We'll get this truck back to Amidra, Amandra, if I could ever pronounce it correctly, I swear. Uh, but we'll get it back there and uh, we'll see how it does. The only thing I'm worried about is that place is full of twists, twists and turns and and all sorts of things. So um, we're, we're probably just going to not use it on this map, but it will be, I, th I think in the future it will be usable. Um, and it looks like it's going to be pretty darn decent, so. Uh, but we are slowly dying. Uh, we're, we're actually dead by now because we've suffocated. Um, if we get lucky, maybe the water will flip us back over. Maybe. It looks like our exhaust came off. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. This one went over quite some time, but uh, you know what? It's Friday, at least if you're watching this the day it comes out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a, a, a good weekend. We'll uh, see you in the next video as we roll over. Bye for now. <laughs>